what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel welcome back i told you guys that i would try to end this series by this weekend um before i go on break i'm actually recording this on my birthday yeah <laughs> i have places to go after i finish doing this um somewhere to do a little bit of a celebration treat myself <laughs> you know what i'm saying treat myself you know go out with the lady friend all of that great stuff um yeah man let's do this <laughs> not that i want to be sitting down here right now but i did promise you guys that i would get this done by this weekend so i'm probably gonna do just two episodes today and then i'll do the other tomorrow the other two tomorrow so you guys can have those to watch we'll be done with sons of anarchy so and then i'll be on break until october so a good little two week break um i was hoping to get a whole month but yes you know when you have a schedule to keep you gotta keep it so for what's happening in sons of anarchy right now we got the four last episodes you know what i'm saying last episode or the last couple episodes i watched um jury jacks kill jury you know what i'm saying i think he kind of did it to cover his ass um the whole notion of what jury was saying about john is it doesn't make sense okay it doesn't make sense in the grand scheme of things it doesn't make sense you get what i'm saying so i'm not gonna take what he said to heart about john and saying that john killed himself like i don't believe that um so when it comes on to everything else of course we know that the one and only bobby has died was killed by marks and <sighs> i knew we were gonna lose some characters you know what I'm saying? Leading up to the end, it's the final season, and it's that type of show. You know, it was strange. Uh, I really thought that he was gonna kill, um, not Bobby. I thought he was gonna. They, you know, I really thought like they really made it believable, like he was going to shoot Jackson in the face, and I was like, ah, oh, this is it. You know what I'm saying? This is it. This is where Jax goes out. And then we, you know, you know, it would have been kind of hard for them to go without the main character for the four last episodes of the season. But in a way, they could wrap things up in a bow still. You know what I'm saying? But it would just kind of be aware that four um, episodes is left and you kill the main character in the ninth episode of the season, of the final season. Yet, still the final season. But how and who... You know what I'm saying? You know, that would have solidified my theory, to be honest, of Gem Gemma being the last person standing. Because with Jack's dead, she doesn't have to divulge the truth to anyone because the only person that knows the truth is Juice. So, um, of course, they stopped Juice from killing um, Lynn, right? Um, so that was stopped because of, you know... Um, them finding out that they're they're pointing you know what i'm saying the finger at someone that didn't kill tara so i don't know what unser is going to derive from this if he's finally going to go back in his detective bag and try to figure out what's going on if he's going to figure out that Gemma actually killed Tara out uh, you know but at the end of the day we know that if he finds out he's just going to protect Gemma anyways you know what I'm saying he's not going to let Gemma go down for it because he loves Gemma he's he's the friend zone man for life right so we're going to jump into these two episodes man episode 10 and 11 and then I will knock the other two out tomorrow so um i also need to jump on stream after i finish recording these so hopefully you guys are okay and good don't forget to like the video don't forget to comment and of course i will see you guys at the end for the review
Tommy? Yeah, they have to. They got to make sure everything is good before they let y'all out there. They can't, and you got to make sure that, because you know Marx is still looking for them. Marx has somebody, oh God, not this lady again. What happened to Abel? Okay. We're all set for new intelligence. Let's sit down as this afternoon and we'll bring out the better of these two. And you can only use the one bunch of stuff? Doesn't matter. Sure, it's time for you. We've got our pay and bills and some salary. And if you need us, we'll be here. We'll do what we need to have the right shit for you. <laughs> Jax don't give two shits about Drews. <laughs> He's like, yeah. I need to talk to the Patrick family. Convince them to rethink their statement. Tell us the second. I need you to find out where. We do business together. Ain't like I'm going to no biker barbecue. I just heard the cameraman moving. <laughs> if you listen closely, you can hear the camera walking on the gravel or whatever. <laughs> I hope he doesn't have a gun. That would suck. Doing here? Well, he wanted me to meet him. Tell Leland. You will. Here we go. 
this. I'm gonna light some tranny humper at a sit down. What did you say? What, man? You think people don't know you suck dick? Okay with the time. You okay with the time? Hey, you ahead. Oh, he said I'm okay. Oh, I'm he said it. Evening. You in your crew? You get your dick shot off, you asterisk freak. Shot him in the dick. He's going to finish off, um, what's her name? I can't remember her name right now. Yeah, ugly. He's trying to figure out a way to warn them, but he and he can't because they're with him. Okay, y'all literally just see. Um, how is nobody paying attention to this to to this guy? <laughs> Wonder if she got warned. I think she got warned. I'm surprised she can walk. She she was sitting up though playing something with Unser a while back. Yeah, she she oh, she got warned. Did nobody hear that in the hospital? Good on you, Unser. I love how this <laughs> this hospital is just <laughs> She, he got warned. Anonymous. <laughs> Anonymous. <laughs> 
Just an ant. I think your anonymous friends are really doing a lot. I don't know, bro. <laughs> What the heck did Abel do? Ah, he's hurting himself. He did it to himself. You have got to be kidding. Bro, this kid is wildin'. What? Yo. <sighs> this show stresses me out, bro. <laughs> this show stresses me out because it just lies and lies. Now Abel is is just out there, just just, just lying too. <laughs> it's it's just the the compacting lies. It's just like it's like that's the theme of the show. Is just like these lies that doesn't get. It's just where lies can lead. Where is is this his way of getting her out of the picture or getting revenge on on Gemma for killing Tara because he knows about that. And I think maybe it's because of what the teacher said to him in the beginning. Whereas in she said to him is like if somebody can they, you know basically tell him you know. You can tell the police or whatever they could get in trouble. I think that's what sparked this. I think that's why he went to the bathroom, did the thing with the fork, and let and let him and let her, like the thing about it is this: Jax is not going. He should not believe this off the bat. He should not believe this. There's no way. He never did this. She never did this to you. She never abused you. Well. Not in the way that, you know, typically child abuse, right? She never did. She never physically abused Jax, unless that's something that they're going to bring up at this point. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think she ever, because there's no way, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think she ever did that to him. We know that Gemma didn't do this, right? So I don't want her to be getting blamed for something or sent to prison for something that, you know what I'm saying? Like she did not do. Like I, I wanted to. I want Jax to find out that she's the one that killed Tara. Like that's what I wanted to go to prison for, if she's gonna go at all. But for able to be hatching a plan, like, <laughs> oh my god, like, this show stresses me out, bro. Let's go. It's no way. We all know that Gemma didn't do this. Where's Mello?
Is he is he playing them somehow? I don't know. This dude must have some sort of plan, man. Gotta be. Okay. So I'm saying it's got to be some sort of plan. It's going to blow up, but nigga Moses is going to survive. It's going it's a definitely. Yep. It's a trap. That was expected. Oh, here they go. Oh! Well, well, the A B, they don't have no. <laughs> they'll kill, they'll kill a black man in, in, in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah, they want this one for themselves. He scooped out. Yo, he's using his hand to take his eye out, bro. Yo! Doing back to him. Everything he did to Bobby. Oh my god, the eye is hanging out. Oh. Revenge is a dish best served cold, my friend. To think that Wendy would be in this place at this point is unprecedented. Because you guys know how much I did not like her in, in earlier seasons, man. Like... To come this far, for her to come this close, good character growth. Like, over the last, I want to say, two or three seasons, she's really, like, got into my good graces. You know what I mean? Because she still loves him. She did say that back when, I think it was Chibs that asked her. No. Was it Chibs? No, it was Bobby, actually. It was Bobby. Was Bobby that asked her if she still loves him, and she said, yeah. Hey, 
I mean, the fact that Abel did that, yo, that that's a... <laughs> Kids do stuff to get attention. Kids do... Uh, this is not beyond the scope of a five-year-old. The whole hurting yourself and say it's somebody else. Like, kids will do stuff like that to get their siblings in trouble, but to get an adult in trouble, I would say maybe they'll do that. They'll tell kids when they learn to lie, bro. Once they learn to lie, it's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap, bro. Oh, he's gonna tell tell him that Wendy is his real mom. She's come a long way, man. Like, for real, for real. Like, Wendy probably has one of the best story arcs or character arcs in the entire series, to be honest. When you actually think about it. Abel is a good kid, but he be scheming, though. <laughs> he be scheming. Five years old, man, but he out here scheming. Boy, you need to tell them what's going on. <laughs> he needs to know. And as long as he can, I mean, he, he didn't totally understand, but because I, I feel like when kids are either adopted or stuff like that, like once they get old enough to understand, you can tell them, you know what I'm saying? You got to have that talk. I That's how I feel. I, you don't wait until a child finds out they're adopted to tell them they're adopted. You get what I'm saying? Like figure out a time where you feel like the kid will understand whether it be six years old you know what I'm saying? Where they would understand who their real mother and father is or tell them that they're adopted, that they're, you know what I'm saying? We didn't, you know what I'm saying? We, <laughs> however, at a place where you know that they can understand, I think they need to know because if they find it out on their own, I'm telling you this from personal experience, if they find it out on their own, it, it's just, it just creates more problem problems later down the line, you know? Because there's only two ways that it can go. You know what I'm saying? And it, it went bad for us. It went bad for us. You know what I mean? Like, it, it just... It went off the rails 
Um, and I'm not saying sometimes you will have the kid that will understand and be like, ah, oh, you guys are my real family, blah, blah, blah. He didn't go that way for us. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> like everything just kind of went downhill from there. This day I still like that kid like a Hmm? No, yeah. That's what he just told you, yeah. So <gasps> Oh You Yo, they didn't have to end it like that. Women don't even want to do that shit these days. Like, they don't even want to... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like... What? Gemma. Gemma. Why would my mom be helping Juice? Because Juice knows. Yeah, because he got to go find out what's happening and what's, why. Yep. Told you that. She 
said Gemma was helping him because she didn't want anyone else to get hurt. But why would Juice go to my mom in the first place? Not sure how that all came about. Seems they crossed paths somewhere. Wild weed shop. That doesn't uh, make sense. You were with my mom. going on with her? She's upset. She uh, knew you were going to get picked up by the sheriff. Did she call you after she saw the challenge? Yeah. After we found out what happened, she threatened. We both threatened. She didn't tell me what she saw. Only the club would pick her back. What, what, what are you digging at, huh? I need a face-to-face -face with you. Can you call Jared Sotero? You're kidding me, right? I mean, we know what you were doing with Juice. Using him to get close to Lynn. This isn't about it? Lynn. It's about Sam. Why should I ask? The guy's been done nothing but lie to me. The guy, Juice, and, and his mother ID, he wasn't even in the state. Ah. Yes, here we go. Chris Dunn. Jerry found out he was in the Vegas Trump camp the night Carol was murdered. Yo, everything is hitting him at once right now. Pull the video, watch the whole thing. I swear. Do you want the truth or not? Alright. I'll call Jared. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Burn me on this, Jackson, and, and there's no more loyalty. For your club and for your family. Understand? Here we go. in a goddamn boiler room. <laughs> what was that for? She sold out Sam Curl. Gave up the location of the gun. <sighs> Boy. They sent the rat to push out the rat. <laughs> Who was it? Those guns were ours. Was it a member? Jury wife? What happens once I tell you? I went after the club and I hand over Juice. Really? Not too long. As long as you tell me who it was, we don't give up the information. No. There's no way it was Baroski, dude. No way. No, I don't believe Lynn. Well, damn.
Well, I mean, we knew Lynn, Lynn was going to die. I didn't think he was going to be here. <laughs> Assuming Juice got done things in the club. Uh -huh. I guess you that night. Wayne is probably the worst. <laughs> yo. Wayne is. Yo. Sometimes he does such great work. And then other times he's just like. How are you the dumbest person in the room bro? Everything about Gemma's body language is telling you she's lying. Everything about her body language. Like she's fidgety. She's hesitant she's she um a little confrontational like everything about her body language now she's getting up to leave as soon as you tell her that like wayne if you don't pick up on this bruh Jesus, yo, Unser is. Boy, if you don't tell the truth where Jax loses it on you,
little brother. She was gone. She was killing her mom. You see, nothing makes sense to me. It's my kid's religion. Cutting himself, knifing up skull. Juice. It would to me too. Juice. He's not going to tell him. He's He's not going to tell him. Oh, he's going to tell him. If you dare could. It, okay, you better not say you kill Tara. Okay. Dude. Look at him crumble, man. Jeez, I can't believe... I thought he was going to say he killed Tara. Yo, look at Jax just. This man went on a war path, man. He went on a war path based on that. They had nothing to do with it. Bruh. Is he gonna launch at him? This is crazy, bruh. Crazy. Yeah, because everything is because of you and Gemma. Pretty much. All of this. 
<laughs> the, your sins are never going away. Damn. Damn. It's over for him. Like, at this point, why the hell wouldn't I kill you? Yeah, it is.
Brush, this is gonna let Gemma escape? Juice this morning. Trying to piece together something. How is Nero going to react to this news? I wouldn't be surprised if he just walked away from her. I think he's just gonna just leave her, just okay. like go. He don't even know what to say. It's like this entire time. You let your own son go on a war path. <sighs> Come on, man. Comp What's complicated about what you did? Are you serious? You just upped and decided to just kill someone. You don't even know the whole truth. About what's going on based on a hunch. Come on, man. Gemma has to answer for this. I'm not in agreement with her just leaving in, in the wind. Damn. Talk about loss for words. Oh shit, man. <laughs> Yo, Nira is like, are you kidding me? <laughs> this entire time, everything that is that has happened. This is the beginning of the season. <sighs> Yo. Gemma, man. Gemma is... <laughs> Love her character, but my God, man. It, it's just...
Chinese didn't go fast enough. Germans are fast enough. There was very just gas. The Jews were here to Eli when he found them and killed them and drove them away. Then the German Jews took the rest of the lot. Chinese guy that I tortured and his head I split open. He wasn't even in the state when I sent him to school. I told him to leave power to the south. I thought it could only be gang retaliation. And that's the truth. mistake was mine and mine alone everything that happened as a result of that mistake every body that dropped every relationship that was torched Wes Jury Bobby everything that jeopardized this club was my fault Tiss I'm gonna sit down with Pat in the other place. I'm gonna hear about you. And then we'll sit down with Tyler the Irish and the Mayans and discuss guns and territory. I can't do anything to change what's happening, but I'm gonna make damn sure I do everything I can to make it right. I can't talk about anything but it's not just you, it's my best friend. I suggest you do. E You just gotta leave it be, man. 
would have loved if she she So I'm saying, like, he just got to leave it be. Like, oh, she's gone. Like, <laughs> ah, man. The, the, and she just gets to walk away from it. And that's what I don't like. She just gets to walk away, man. All right, people. Let's talk about it. Seems like Gemma is going to get away. Pretty much from facing any sort of consequences. From facing the music one way or the other. Not even an argument between her and Jax. Um, yep. Juice is probably going to be dead by the end of the series. Um, they're finding out that Borowski is was the one that sold him out to the Chinese he was the rat I didn't suspect him at all but then when I look back at his actions in the I think it was the pawn shop or whatever when they when he just abruptly just killed the guy that they were in um interrogating uh it just that's where my mind went when they said it was Baraska. I was like oh that's why he killed the guy so quickly you know without them finish questioning him like it was very it was very weird um, so Jax is absolutely tormented now, um, for these two episodes, um, they deserve to be one hour episodes, no doubt about it, definitely deserve to be one hour episodes, I think the first one was like an hour and 10 minutes, and this one, um, episode 11 was an hour and like nine minutes, so they were around the same time, um, so for me the way how i see it these were two brilliantly written episodes don't get me wrong they they were brilliantly written and i didn't i didn't even really feel like it was like two hours i was watching the show to be honest um it, it was brilliant the way i was written the way how the reveals were done with abel the way how Jax found out the, the interrogate the the meeting with juice and Jax that was brilliantly written and wow the i don't remember i don't remember his name but the actor that's playing Jax, he's knocking it out of the park right now in these final episodes man like he's been he's probably going to end up my favorite character in the entire show at the end of course because he still is at this moment and you guys know how i've been pulling for Jax ever since like the first season he's been my favorite character um he lost sight of things um i was a little bit confused in the first part of the season because i didn't know why he killed this random chinese dude but then it was revealed that he you know what i'm saying like he believes that this dude is the one that killed Tara because at one point I was saying oh he just needed someone to get it to you know what I'm saying kind of projecting like that's how it came off because I didn't know that Gemma actually told him that it was the Chinese so that was revealed a little bit later and then I got it that this entire thing is that he that he's going on right now is all because of Gemma um and her the, the lie that she concocted with juice of course because we know juice showed up at the house and killed roosevelt right and protected Gemma. um i did i thought listen she's afraid of dying and i get it she's afraid of dying she thinks that Jax will definitely kill her you know what I'm saying? Um, but as I said, most of the time is like, I don't think Jax would ever like, I don't, I think he would be super frustrated and probably cut her off completely, but I don't think he would ever like actually kill his mom. You know what I'm saying? And Nero being there, Nero has become one of my favorite characters in the show as well. He's like that balance, you know what I'm saying? That's exists between you know the right and the wrong he's that balance he kind of exists in the gray 
which is like just it's it, it's not the greatest place to be because you're handling it, it's like happiness and sadness and you're in the middle and you know whatever ha whatever comes at you you just got to take it because it's like in some cases you want to be on this criminal side right but in some ways he want to get away from this criminal side so it's like we were heading in a great direction for six seasons with Jax trying to get out of guns trying to go legit and all this other stuff and all of that just went to hell after Tara died and Gemma told the lie so to me the way how they wrote these episodes and I know in the last couple of episodes I did I was talking about how Abel happenstance just happened to hear Gemma confess twice I didn't like that it happened the second time I'm not taking that back I didn't like the fact that it just seems very it's too convenient for a plot you get what I'm trying to say it's just too convenient now I know kids I know that kids they run around and you know what I'm saying and if they're being ignored they will hear stuff being um, said the reason why I have a problem with it the reason why I have a problem with it is because it's the same person he overhears again right after the first time like it just it just seemed too convenient and as I said I'm definitely going to take points off for that because they've been consistent with their writing um, you know throughout the entire thing so it's not a big point it's just a decimal point you know what I'm saying we're still at a 9.9 .9 out of 10 show for me going into the final two episodes um, and for my my rating coming up at the end so at least you know it was a 10 out of 10 show for me until that and there was some inconsistencies here and there with with the storyline um, I talked about it I think it was in episode 10 um, so there are some inconsistencies, but overall, they kind of plug those plot holes brilliantly. You know what I'm saying? I have some thought. I had some thoughts about, um, you know, the the relationship between Venus and and um and Tig. You know, um, as I said before, I don't have no issues with those people. You know, um, I, I just I don't. I don't have no issues with them. It's just a certain things that they say sometimes. I just, it, it it makes me scratch my head because it's just like how you know what I'm saying? Like saying that you know I don't even remember the statement, but I, I talked about it enough in the, in in the um in the in the episode. So you know if you guys have anything to say or to follow up on that, please put it in the comment section. I have no problem. You know what I'm saying? I'm not afraid to say what's on my mind and how I think. So when it comes on to, to stuff like that, you know, um, I don't mind addressing it. I've addressed it in the past on this show and I've addressed it in the past on other shows that I've watched that I have no problem. If you saw my reaction to like, um, black sales when we, when we, I don't want to ruin it. Let's, let's not go there because I know there's probably somebody watching this that have not seen black sales. If you have not, I have reactions to black sales make sure you go watch those excellent excellent four season show off the chain if you've enjoyed sons of anarchy you will enjoy black sales i can promise you that i highly recommend watching black sales it's a awesome show awesome show the writing is top notch even better than sons of anarchy to be honest it's even better than sons of anarchy the dialogue bellissimo <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it's one of those shows man where now that i'm at the end and going into the two the two final episodes of the final season it's just it's surreal that we're here you know what i'm saying and and you know that i thought they were gonna wait until like the final at least the final episode to give us this and then just end the show but no we still got two more episodes to go i don't know if they're going to be as long as these two but Gemma getting away juice basically he's done he's done he's just, he's just like just kill me you know what i'm saying just 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 kill me you know what i mean because he knows there's no way back after jack's finding this out that he that they kept this from him that they he knew and he didn't tell him and he didn't 
you know what I'm saying? Like the betrayal just became even more after him telling him that, you know what I mean? So when it comes on to the Jews, he's basically just giving up. He caused Bobby to die. He caused, you know what I'm saying? It's just so many things caused because of that one line, man. And that's a lesson in life, bro. That is a lesson if I've ever learned one. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just crazy. But, you know, when it comes on to the show itself, I love Wendy's character growth. It was, it was done brilliantly. It was done brilliantly. Like, you know, as I said, you know, during the episode, Wendy probably has one of the best character arcs in in the entire story even though the story is like really not about her at all <laughs> you know what i'm saying she was basically just a, a a supporting actress um but her story still meant so much to the show coming from season one until now till you have to say it was well worth it for her to be on the show until now because you guys know i didn't like her character in, in the first couple of seasons not that it wasn't being done right i just didn't like the character for the things that the character was being portrayed as and doing and they had her doing and the stuff that she was doing she did heroin while she still had abel while she was still pregnant with abel man like i, I can't like she was trash <laughs> she was just a trash person as a character <laughs> you know what i'm saying um so it was just it, it was easy to hate her but her characters really come around to become one of my favorite characters and how her growth has been she's gone to rehab she's done these things to make herself be a better person and now i believe that she's at a place where she can be in in the kids lives no problem at all redemption is always good forgiveness is always good i love to see that in whatever i watch because that is something that needs to be a part of life more we tend to write people off a lot when it comes on to certain things that they do and they've made mistakes and stuff like that just like how old girl that that was um with opie and stuff like that. i can't remember her name right now um is it layla i think it was layla is it layla is it Layla or it's some, I think it's an L name. I don't remember exactly, but you guys know what I'm talking about. She's now running, um, the, the porn studio. So, um, she's, you know what I'm saying? She had a good character arc as well. Not as good as Wendy's, but she's definitely stuck around, you know, but she, 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 she's not doing porn anymore, but now she's directing it pretty much running the studio. So, um, you know, my stance has definitely changed on her, um, for the better. You get what I'm saying? Cause she's gotten out of it because, you know, uh, I know a lot of people is going to say, well, why judge her? <laughs> you know, why judge her? It really wasn't judge. Like it, it is what it is. Like th that's what it is. <laughs> you know? Um, so yeah, man feels like i'm giving a review right now of the entire series but i think these two episodes really deserve a, a, a long review because they did they did a lot they did a lot and the pacing was awesome they didn't spend too much time doing certain things that didn't need to be talked about you know what i'm saying getting marks out of the way um pretty much though alvarez always being that guy that's been around um being the mayan now he's bought nero's half of theosa so pretty cool stuff man pretty cool stuff overall i'm loving these final episodes for sure and i will definitely have a longer <laughs> review for um the series of course talking about what is meant to me over the past i want to say i think i've been reacting to sons of anarchy for a year now i'm not sure when i started but i think it's been a year since i've watched the show um it's it, it should be because i think last year at this point during the pandemic i think i was watching sons of anarchy if i'm not mistaken so i think it, it has been a year since we started might not be exactly like a year but they're very close to a year or maybe over a year i'm not sure but it has been a journey 
nonetheless but anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man um hopefully i don't think we're going to see Gemma. i don't think we're going to see her again um are they going to mayhem jacks that's that's the thing like i don't want to see that i don't want to see that i think they should just kick him out of the club because of this huge mistake and then killing jury i think they should just kick him out and just you know go be a father to your kids man um you know go be a father to your kids and that'll be it you know um it's gonna be sad to see him le lose his basically his second family but is it deserved in some ways yes um you know he has to tell them the truth of what happened you know jury did pull on him jury did pull him in and at the time he really thought that jury did betray the club so it is what it is yeah that is all i have to say make sure you hit the like button make sure you comment in the comment section as always it's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and I'm out. Peace.